Lions Den powered by KCB Bank Jonathan Bamba and Ophelia Burton are last in the den with a sweet pitch for the Lions Lions hello my name is Jonathan Bamba and this is my business partner Ophelia Burton Sweetunda is a dried fruit and fruit roll brand a natural healthy snack highly nutritious no added sugar Sweetunda emerged out of working or realizing that farmers are not accessing markets. So we have developed a range of products that work with rural small-scale farmers. Presently, our product is in the supermarkets across Kenya. We sell in uh, Chandarana, Zucchini, Carrefour, Naivas. We have uh, presently processed about 200 metric tons of fruit over the last 18 months. We were staggered when uh, we realized that seven out of 10 mangoes especially uh, never reached the market. That's 70%. That's nearly 500,000 tons of mangoes supplied by small-scale farmers never reach a customer. Most of the mangoes in Kenya are grown in rural, no access roads, and the farmers are truly small scale. By processing this fruit, we are only able to touch very few farmers, less than a hundred of them. What if we are able to triple our production volume, make it tenfold even? What if we bring this to East Africa, Middle East, and Europe, which is closest to us? We can scale up and operate two shift, meaning 60 metric tons. As a young company with an asset light operation, what we need is access to affordable working capital. To create a factory that can deliver threefold of what we do right now, we request that you give us 20 million shillings, finance loan notes, unsecured with a coupon, but convertible in three years' time a not-so-straightforward offer for the dried fruit business. 20 million shillings in a convertible note. Will the Lions take the deal? Okay, what have your sales been so far for the year 2016? First audited accounts, I would have to be very honest with you. Our sales started from nothing to 115,000 US dollars. Well, 11.5 yeah, million shillings. That's 2016. That is 2016, first year audited accounts. So on the 115,000 US, what was what the profit? Just like any other startup company. Of course, the first year did not create any profit. Yeah. First year was really a loss, though the gross profit of the business is good, about 40%. Uh, 2017, year to date, what have the sales been this year so far, uh, Janta? I think it's about 40, $45,000, uh, four and a half million. Four and a half million. Okay, great. And what is the um, valuation cap at on the conversion? Our proposal for the finance notes values the company at 150 million shillings. Therefore, a 20 million term loan, it is equivalent to 13%, 12%. And right now, do you have a situation where you've got more demand than you can produce? Yes, that is the problem. 60% of our sales is only in three. Shops. We also want to want to build on the um, East Africa market. We want to build on the Middle East market, and we want to go into the European market. That's where we see we, we see the growth. Why not just ask for straightforward equity right away, or why not offer equity right away? Uh, the company's stage right now is attracting a lot of interest from donor-funded organisations. And donor-funded organizations means a combination of either a grant money or a affordable loan notes with a matching equity. Because we are still in that process, we don't really know the exact amount of capital need. It would not be practical for us to ask you now for equity if my proposal to increase the production capacity would require that we put up 50% equity. That is the matching contribution. Could you, could you say something about the interest that you're looking for on the... So we want to offer 6% per year. And the conversion is all about accumulated, principal, uh, accumulated interest plus principal 
and convertible at an agreed upon price per share. What does 2020 look like? Uh, 2020, think about a situation where the national Kenyan production of mango is 1.1 million metric tons. 70% of that is going to be wasted. What does that translate to in terms of sales? If it is an international sales, right now, the price per kilo of the dried mango, depending on where it comes from, is about 10 US dollars. For us, it is all about producing quality product that basically excites the market to say, we want this because we know that if we get from Sweet Tunda, we will have a consistent quality. Okay, so what I want to understand is this pretty much your revenue projections. It's, it's premature, but based on known demand and subject to the company meeting the buyer's requirements on health and safety, which goes back to the fruit. You, we've already established the demand is there. The entrepreneur's inability to give a straightforward answer on projections could be turning the deal from sweet to sour. Give us numbers, yeah. simple, straightforward. In 2019, when we would have reached 200 metric tons, so 200 metric tons at 10 US dollars is $2 million. By year three. Okay, $2 million by year three. So 40% of that is going to be my gross margin. But I think a lot hinges on the fit to market process. What does it entail exactly? You just need to understand how do you get certified to be able to export? So what are the boxes you have to tick? We have to meet food safety legislations. And the first requirement is called Global Gap. Global Gap is a worldwide standard accepted by the European market in particular that enables us to trace the source of the product from the source of the farm, and also meeting requirements on maximum residue limits. And are you meeting those already? With the first group of farmers, we are. We are. So I think from my point of view, you know, there's the potential to get funding from the, from the donors, there's um, this international market, which you haven't yet started selling into. There's so many things, and then the offer in terms of the convertible, um, yeah, it's just not clear enough for me, um, and so I'm out. But I do hope, Thank you. I wish you success, maybe in future. Good luck. Wandia is the first lion to drop out of investing in Sweet Tunda. Will the entrepreneurs ask for a convertible note hinder a deal from the other lions? Will the business be sweet enough? Burton and Bamba. <laughs> I like the name, fantastic job, and I know this is going to fly. I think, generally speaking, for the den, a very simple, straightforward, equity structured deal would have been better for me, definitely. I think if you've got a valuation, a straight equity um, conversation would make this much simpler. So I'm out. Mm. Guys, a couple of factors that uh, concern me. One is the shelf life of the product, especially if you're looking at international markets. The, the second thing is, although you have put a valuation to the business, I don't think it's very clear. And I think that's why you're bridging it with a convertible a note to really get to, to get it right. a real valuation. It'll, um, a little unfair, but look, um, there's a lot of competition in this space. I have traveled extensively. I've seen a lot of dried fruit coming out of the UAE. Mangoes in particular, for example, they're very strong with this. The, 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 the taste needs some refinement. You really need to look at how feasible those markets are. You may go through the process of making it organic, etc. But are you really going to be able to com you know, compete? You really need to reject the business model a little bit. I think it just doesn't um, stack up in the den for now. So I'm out for that reason. What happens if you don't access the international market? Is the business still viable within Kenya and East Africa? We, we founded the business with social aspirations on creating value for others. If we only rely on the local Kenyan market, we will be left there with probably more than 70% wasted mangoes. So it is all about food loss. It's all about how do we create an impact into that side. If we are not able to access international market, then the mango industry is dead. So guys, uh, for myself, a key thing is just the valuation. Um, what you're asking for is way, way too high. Uh, it's not very clear that it will come back. There are a lot of variables within that time span. So for that reason, I'm out. Th th thank you. Um, we, we, we realized we, we, we realize your, where you're sitting, and where, and, and that is, um, is, is um, it's a difficult question on evaluation right now. But let me address it this way: the reason why we are asking convertible loan notes is because we want to be able to prove to you that we will deliver. 
as a shareholder, you have the lowest rights because your money will go away if you fail. As, an, in, as a lender, you have more security because you come in order of preference. I would have to pay you first. I understand, as I understand the offer and you know, getting paid back and all of that, but my only concern is you, you still have so many um, hoops to jump through before you can export. And if the business is tied onto the export markets, then it would become a loss inevitably. That's my biggest concern. Then let us look at the social aspect of the business. <laughs> yes, you are not able to export, but you are able to, create, to, to improve the life of the farmer out there, a current outcome. We, we, ha we have 45 small scale farmers who basically has between 35 to 50 trees. And I can give you names as to who they are. So, 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 so if not for the financial. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I will, I don't know, I'm very confused. I'll, I'll be willing to have this conversation with you. Yes. Yeah, you I'll be willing have to, to have the conversation more. with you. Yes, yes. So I'll, I'll take your offer, or I'll make you an offer, but it would be very tied on your international markets. Um, just like grants and, any, and everything else. You know, it doesn't mean that as soon as you walk out of the den, we're writing a check. There's a lot of conversations to have, a lot of due diligence to go through. Um, then my response to that is, let me introduce you to an overseas buyer who is coming next week. And let us, let the company get a letter of intent. And the letter of intent is all about Borton and Bumber, prove to us that you can meet all the six legislation requirements to enable your product to reach overseas. Okay, if you do that, then, then I'm happy to Perfect. further the conversation after the dinner. Sweet Tunda walk out with a not so straightforward deal for the 20 million shillings they came in asking for, which is tied to securing an international market. The reason we're here is not just about making money. We want this business to be about huge social impact. Lion's Den, powered by KCB Bank.